Welcome to part four of our video series on converting a garage to an art studio. In this program we will look at the final steps to completion. We installed the new door and windows. We received approval for and finished installing new siding and trim. The owner is a devoted urban chicken keeper. One final modification she wanted was to install a window into the attached chicken coop. After a few other framing touch-ups, our electricians finished the owner's required wiring changes and we were ready for insulation. We had low-density, closed-cell polyurethane foam insulation sprayed into the wall and ceiling framing. Take Pride Insulation was the subcontractor that provided this service. This liquid foam insulation rapidly expands to seal and fill the cavities. It provides really effective air sealing since the foam molds itself to all of the surfaces. Spray application of polyurethane foam is an effective insulation for remodeling. We are in the final stages of our project. Drywall installation will be the piece of the construction process that you will see for a long time to come. Quality professional drywall hangers can make or break the final look of a project. Good drywall finishers are almost like artists. It takes a steady hand, experience, and patience to finish a smooth wall. Our coffered ceiling lines are a prominent feature of this room and need to be just right. We hired Hang 10 Drywall and they did an excellent job. Angie has chosen to do most of the painting and trim ceiling on her own time, saving a bit of money and allowing her to be as particular as she likes. She also took the initiative to stain the concrete floor. This was a nice example of a homeowner's active participation in the success of her own project. The last details will be to trim the door and windows and install the lighting and the baseboard heating. At this point Angie is ready to move in and enjoy her new art studio. I've enjoyed sharing the construction progression of this garage conversion with you. Thanks for watching and look for more of this type of educational information at my website peterqbrown.com. Feel free to contact me if you have an upcoming building or remodel project that you feel would be interesting to document and share.